Okay guys, so I hope you can see me okay. I'm at the hair salon for this pregnancy vlog and this really weird because I've not done pregnancy vlog at the hair salon this whole pregnancy. I've been trying to do them at home, but I was like, I don't want to wait too much longer. I feel like I've been skipping a couple of weeks here and there in between. I really want to get to doing pregnancy vlogs every week. I'm 27 weeks now and I'll have to do my best busy Miller. <laughs> Be measure my belly at home my belly measure gosh I cannot I'm gonna try to do this video really quick short and sweet hopefully and before my next appointment gets here but that's why I don't really do videos here anymore because I'm just so when I'm here I'm just busy and then I'm like gone I feel like we're just so busy with kiddos and all that kind of stuff and I'm just like either working busy or whatever but I did have a few minutes so I was like I'm gonna try this video because I feel like I never have time anymore because it's summertime and whenever the girls are in school, it's so much easier to do videos, find time to do videos whenever school busy. But now they're at home more with my grandma that watches them through the summer, and so they're at home all the time. So, like, I don't really have time to do videos at home, but I'm still going to try to do some pregnancy vlogs at home because I like doing it better there. That way I'm not, like, in a hurry or rushing or anything. Who knows, but you may start seeing some here when I do have time. Like this, I'll just try to throw one together real quick because I want to try. I really only have, like... 10-ish weeks to go, like two months or a little more, so which is so crazy. Um, depending on if she's early or not, and to me, I think she's going to be here early because she is just like, everything that I are saying about her is like the same as Kinsley. Like, when we went to their ultrasound or like when they measure me, they say, oh, you're measuring good, maybe a little ahead of schedule, or they'll say like, or mainly we're at the ultrasound just saying how she is a little bit chunky or whatever. So, um, or just looked really healthy is the way they put it, so, which is really good. So, for some reason, I just think she's going to be here early like Kinsley was. Claire, she was, like, right at her due date, and I kept thinking that she was going to be early just because Kinsley was early. And so, now, though, and I just feel, like, so big, and it may just be because it's my third pregnancy, but I just felt like I got bigger faster, I just feel bigger, and especially now, I'm starting to get more in the uncomfortable stage, I guess, where I just, I don't know, I just feel, like, so... So big and she, but I love feeling her move around. Like she's starting to have some bigger like movements and stuff. And Kinsley has felt her kick a lot. But Kinsley loves laying her head on my belly and then her like kick her cheek or whatever. She loves that. And so she's been doing that a lot now. So I'm trying to just suck all that in because I love them kissing on her and feeling on my belly and everything. So sweet. I cannot believe it's at the end. Because whenever I went to my doctor's appointment recently, she was like, okay, we'll see you in three weeks. And then after that, we'll be seeing you every two weeks. And I'm like, I can't believe it's already time for me to go every two weeks. I'm like, what? And that, she's like, because I, I can't believe. I only have two months if she comes early, possibly three months if she's a little late. Like, that's, I don't know. That is really crazy to me. This pregnancy has flew by. And Kinsley being in kindergarten flew by. And everything i just feel like it's going by so fast right now i just want to slow it down enjoy the end of this pregnancy enjoy this summer with just my two girls because next summer we'll have three girls it's so crazy because i keep thinking in the future like what it'll be like like next summer kids will be seven claire will be three and this one will be going on one already by this time next summer that's crazy i thought this year we're just going to be even busier having a third one and I'm just gonna fly by. So I'm just kind of suck it all in and just enjoy it and try to not rush anything and all that kind of stuff. So it was 1.30 at this doctor appointment, which I think was about similar to last time. So that was good. I felt like I stayed uh, about the same. And so I'm hoping I don't gain like too much more. I get way too huge here at the end. But I usually do get really big at the end. Like I usually do good up until now. And then these next two months, I feel like I'm gonna just blow up and be huge because that's usually what I do. But I am still trying to go to the gym, I'm trying to eat healthier. And talking about that, we I did my gestational diabetes glucose test this last time, and they have not called or emailed me or anything yet. So I'm waiting to hear back from that. I'm still I'm like that's a good th sign if you don't hear anything. But I'm like it's the weekend now, or get, it's getting close to the weekend now. So I'm like. It, they'll probably call me first the next week. They'll probably just wait until then. So, because I did a three-hour one with both the girls. So, I'm just assuming I'll do the three-hour one again. Kinsley's I passed. Claire's I didn't. So, last time with Claire, I was having to, like, really 
like diet and just watch what I ate and all that kind of stuff and then you have to prick your finger and huh, it's, it's really hard like it's a lot but I thought this pregnancy I've already been eating healthy and I've already been trying to do better so I'm hoping that that helped me pass the test but if not because I feel like I'm just gonna have it again because I had it last time that at least I've already been doing stuff to be healthier this time so hopefully that's good and so we'll see yeah so my allergies have been so bad this pregnancy like the past three months three spring my allergies were horrible so bad so bad I actually finally starting to feel better um, I was going to say this in last week's video because I was um, wanting to do that video and I was going to say that my allergies have been um, bad but starting to get better and so this week are better but like this morning I woke up and I was sneezing like crazy and just just like running but I'm trying not to take a whole lot so and then now I'm feeling better a lot later in the day but yeah I'm just hoping through the summer and there's this pregnancy that will be good but I don't know if it's because I was pregnant or just this year was worse but yeah, so. so swelling has started. If you wanna see my leg, I can't really show you my legs, but it was harder to tie my shoes and all. It's getting harder to do those kind of things, getting bigger, but I am starting to swell, but I'm just trying to wear more of my um, comfy tennis shoes, so that helps. I usually do here at the end, like get really big and just swollen, it starts swelling up and everything, so huh. Yeah. So daddy had bought me a pregnancy pillow finally so that he can adjust me better when like I'm laying on my belly. And I'll have I'll try to remember to put a clip in here or show y'all them. Um I did film them in the daily vlog when we got them if y'all saw that. The pillow is like there's two pillows and they just have like a big hole in the middle pretty much so that I can lay it on my belly and he can adjust me that way. But he's been adjusting me through this whole pregnancy and it's been really awesome. So awesome. I pretty much got adjusted all through Claire's pregnancy and it definitely helped uh, with my, once I was like in labor and stuff with my back labor, um, it got her turned the right way. Um, Kinsley, when I had her, if you haven't seen her videos, um, she was head down but then she was like turned the wrong way. And so um, it, with adjusting that helped with Claire and hopefully that'll help this time. And also they're like wanting me to try to like talking about with my birth plan and everything. Actually, I need to send that in. I had the doctor um, hospital had given me um, like my birth plan. Actually, I have it right here. I might actually try to do this real quick. For my well, I'm glad I did this video here because I had this here at the salon. This is just the sample birth plan. It asks you like pretty much like do you want music? So they're wanting me to like hurry up and try to get to the hospital as soon as possible. And I want to try to do that time, try to do that too and try to get in the water for a little bit. Or I may just get in the water at home. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to try to, because with trying to compare here. Kinsley's, with her, it was my labor and everything and pushing and all that was so long and exhausting that I was determined with Claire to just stay at home. Like, we live right near the hospital, so it was, like, not going to be a problem just to, like, stay at home and labor. So I got in the shower. I just kind of took my time just getting ready to go to the hospital. I was in a lot of pain, but I was like, I'm just going to try to push through it and just wait as long as I can. And I actually waited too long, because so I was planning on getting an epidural. Um, but by the time we got to the hospital, it was time for her to come like that. And I pushed, like, no time when she was here. So, I feel like it's going to be like that again. So, I'm a little nervous, because I'm like, what if I wait too long, and I have her at home or in the car or something, and I'm not at the hospital. So I probably will try to get the try to get to the hospital a little bit sooner. But at the same time, I really enjoyed just being at home and laboring at home, and then doing that. It was like Claire's birth was like perfect, like to labor at home and then get there and just have her, and it was just awesome. So I hope I can do that again. But knowing that it's probably going to be click again, like Claire's, it's like should we? It'd probably be hard to tell. I feel like because I didn't think that I was like almost about to have her even when I was at home before so I don't know probably just have to I'll try to time it out just like that again but we'll see to have the lights dim and peaceful and quiet uh, maybe some music using the birthing ball or whatever uh, I'd like to move around I didn't put I'm not gonna get epidural this time because I know it's just gonna be clicking fast hopefully I hope it's like that again to cut the milk cord I want to wait for it to stop pulsing or whatever and then cut it 
And here at the end, I have to start planning on what I'm going to do when she gets here. And it's always so crazy, like, what's going to happen? You never know. And I am going to try to do some, like, live videos, like, when everything's going on. And then even... And I'll probably do a live video, try to do a live video a little bit sooner, like, so you guys can see her, like, as soon as she gets here and all that. And then I'll just do my, all of my delivery video and stuff. I'll have to put it together and put it up after that. I am going to try to, because I really like doing the live video for our gender reveal. So I'm going to try to when it gets closer around all that time when stuff is going on to do some more live videos for you guys. So you guys can, like, be here with us and enjoy this pregnancy with us and all that. I want to try to do some live bit more live videos, but maybe when they're, we're at the beach too and something, I don't know. Okay, so this actually probably ended up being a lot longer than I thought. The lungs and the brain are developing even more now, so that's cool. Oh, someone is calling me. Okay, sorry guys. So, and she can hear us even more now. Like, she's really starting to hear us and recognize our voices. So that's really cool. I can't wait till she gets here and like see what she looks. I know I talk about this in every vlog, every pregnancy vlog though. Like if what she's gonna look like, what she's gonna be like. Cause the girls are so different. Like everything is so different about them. So I can't imagine having one even more different, like liking or not liking a lot of stuff. I think she's gonna be a good mix of both of them. That would be really cool if she was just a good mix. Um, or even if she was more like one than the other, we'll see. So. Or what she'll look like, because I feel like they do look a little different. Like Kinsley has wavy hair, Claire has straight hair, but they do look similar. Similar, uh, and we're getting their haircuts today, so you guys will probably see that vlog soon. Hopefully, maybe I can edit this and get it up like really soon. Yeah, we're gonna do their hair videos soon, so go check that out. Get them haircuts because we're going to the beach soon, like really soon. So I'm really sad about that. I have a list down here, um, stuff that we need. I want to get a gym, play mat, an exerciser. Um, the all, now they have an auto play, pack and play. I mean, yeah, the rock and play was like a lifesaver. So if we're look, if there's any one item I can say, get a rock and play. Claire slept in it, we rocked her in it. But now they have an auto one where, cause normally the ones that I got with Claire, we, you always had to rock it. Now they make them where they rock themselves, which is really awesome. I'm sure they're more expensive, but definitely want to try to get one of those for sure. Cause that was a lifesaver. So. We're still trying to think about her name. And yeah, I think that's about it. And I will show you guys my belly as soon as I get home. I'll do a little video for you guys so you can see. Okay guys, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you my belly while we're here because I don't want to like forget about doing the belly measure. I don't think I am, but just in case, I just wanted to go ahead and show you what my belly looked like right now while I was doing this video. 27 weeks. I got this turned to be a little harder, so. but when you come in, you're like, Welcome home. Yeah. So she is just getting so big in there. I cannot believe it. I just feel so much pressure. Like, my belly is just so hard. Like, down lower down here. I feel like she doesn't really take up my germ at all up here like the other girls did. She's way lower. And, um, she kick, sometimes I have some pain like right here and then she kicks me more over here so I don't know exactly what that means but I feel more movement on the side a lot of times so yeah okay guys I want to see my little tripod here set up a book with, on this <laughs> are you filming me? Mm -hmm. okay let's see how big mommy's belly is that and Molly go so excited. Let's see where we're at. I'm on the right side? No. So mommy is 36. You see it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey. Do you think baby sister's getting big in here? Yep. She is. I want to try to get a video of her kicking. Maybe I could try to do that real quick for a few minutes. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. Check out our daily vlogs. 
um, subscribe, comment, like, and if you subscribe, make sure you ring the bell so you can get some more notifications you know, like, exactly. Sorry, Jill's calling me. Anyways, I'll answer this, and I have a great day, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!